Hello there and a very warm welcome to another edition of Channels Beam. I'm Victor Mathias. Now the long-awaited global football fiesta kicked off in Russia with shocks, surprises, predictions including failed ones and disappointment. 32 countries will be slugging it out for the most coveted prize in world football for the next few weeks. And that will be our focus on the program today. But we will be also looking at the efforts made by individuals to end sexual molestation and harassment in the society. But before we do that, let's first take a look at the trending topics in the past week. After comments credited to the governor of Zamfara State that he has resigned as the chief security officer of the state surfaced online, Twips called on authorities to bring the killings of innocent men, women and children in the northwestern state to an end and save the ones alive. paternal bonds and the influence of fathers in the society was brought to the fore and celebrated to mark the 2018 Father's Day. Nigerians at home and abroad wasted no time to show their support for the Super Eagles flying the nation's flag at the ongoing World Cup. The Eagles, however, lost their first game to Croatia, but still have hopes of qualifying for the second round, with games against Iceland and Argentina still to be played. Friends in the past week, but joining us to look at the topic of the day, we have a sports analyst, Ifreke Inyang. Thank you for joining us today on the program. Thank you for having me, uh, Victor. So, so let's look at the competition so far. I mean, how has it been? Well, it started off with a bang. A 5-0 win by the host country, Russia, yeah. over 
with our Saudi Arabia. I mean, yeah, I mean, it started a bit slowly, like at a point you thought that wasn't going to happen. This is just a trend that's going to happen. Yeah. But everything blew open in the second half, and from there, we've been having a lot of exciting matches. I don't think we've seen a goal less draw yet, so I mean, that looks good. And we've, we've been having predictions. I mean, <laughs> how that, how that, I don't know how people still manage to do predictions in football. Maybe there's a gun to your head, but yeah. you know, I mean, 1 1 Argentina versus um, Iceland. No, Whoever saw that coming? No, not at all. You know, especially after um, Ronaldo plundered a hat trick against Spain, you're expecting Messi to come and Step put him for yeah. You know, against Iceland, but yeah, football, bloody hell. I know, right? <laughs> so the, the 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 pig, you know, kind of predicted the Super Eagles, you know, reaching the semifinals. I mean, well, I don't I don't know why you would listen to a pig. I mean, we listen to we listen to um. An octopus in South Africa. I did works. not. I, I did <laughs> not. Well, I, I, did, I, I, I don't did, believe in all those mystic well, things. So. I just think all those things just to create um, a buzz, you know, some controversy around the World Cup. I don't think it's something you need to pay attention to. Yeah. Because the, the main football happens on the pitch. It's all players and tactics. But it, isn't it all about psychology? I mean, some people say psychological when these things happen. I mean, I don't think. Even it, though it I, I, I don't think it matters much. I don't think it matters much, you know, as far as psychology. I mean. Because again, the pig said that Nigeria and Argentina are going to go all the way to the semi finals. Okay. Argentina has one point, Nigeria has zero. 